Hi. Hi. I'm Roger. Uh, you DJ? I certainly hope so. Oh. The casting process for the 1987 TV series Full House was a careful selection of individuals who could bring the Harmon family to life. Bob Saget, known for his clean-cut humor, was an early choice for the father, Danny Tanner. The producers were looking for someone who could convincingly play a widowed father raising his daughters, and Saget's warm and approachable demeanor made him a perfect fit. For the role of Jesse Katsopoulos, John Stamos was a clear choice. Stamos had already made a name for himself in the entertainment industry, and his charm and charisma were exactly what the producers were looking for in the character of Danny's brother-in-law and co-parent. Stamos' audition solidified his place in the cast, and he became an integral part of the show's success. The role of Joey Gladstone, Danny's best friend, and third co-parent went to Dave Coulier. Coulier's experience as a stand-up comedian and his natural comedic timing made him a great fit for the role. His chemistry with Saget and Stamos during the audition process sealed the deal, and the three of them became the heart of the show. The casting of the three Tanner daughters was a more extensive process. Candace Cameron was cast as DJ Tanner after a series of auditions. Producers were looking for someone who could portray a responsible and mature older sister, and Cameron's audition demonstrated her ability to balance humor and maturity. Jody Sweeten, who played middle child Stephanie Tanner, was discovered during an open casting call. She was only five years old at the time, but her audition impressed the producers, and they knew she was the right fit for the role. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, who shared the role of the youngest Tanner daughter, Michelle, were cast in a unique way. The producers were looking for twins to play the role, and after a nationwide search, they found the Olsen sisters. At only six months old, the twins were too young to audition, so their mother submitted a video of them playing. The producers were impressed by their cuteness and cast them in the role. Overall, the casting process for Full House was a careful selection of individuals who could bring the Harmon family to life. The chemistry between the cast members was undeniable, and it played a significant role in the show's success. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. I gotta tell all you folks out there, Jesse does have a great head of hair. Um, the director of the 1987 TV series Full House, Jeff Franklin, brought a lighthearted and family-friendly approach to the show. He aimed to create a warm and relatable atmosphere that would appeal to a broad audience. Franklin's creative influences included classic family sitcoms like The Brady Bunch and Father Knows Best. Franklin's directorial style was characterized by his focus on visual comedy and physical humor. He often incorporated sight gags and comedic timing into the show scenes, which helped to enhance the comedic performances of the actors. Franklin also collaborated closely with the cast and crew, fostering a positive and supportive work environment that allowed for creative input from all involved. In terms of visual style, Franklin favored bright and vibrant colors, which helped to create a cheerful and upbeat tone for the show. He also made use of wide shots and clever camera angles to capture the comedic moments and physical humor that were a hallmark of the series. Franklin's collaborative approach extended to his work with the writers, actors, and crew members. He encouraged feedback and input from all involved, which helped to create a cohesive and engaging final product. The result was a show that resonated with audiences and has endured as a beloved classic in the world of television. There are so many of you and so few coasters to go around. <laughs> so shit. Full House is a classic 1987 TV series that follows the story of the Tanner family after the father, Danny, becomes a widower and his brother-in-law and best friend move in to help raise his three daughters. The show is known for its humor, heart, and relatable characters making it an enduring symbol of the television industry. Throughout its run, Full House tackled important themes such as family, friendship, and growing up. The show's ability to balance these heavier topics with humor and lightheartedness has made it a beloved series for generations. One memorable moment from Full House is when Jesse, the Tanner's uncle, sings forever to his girlfriend at their wedding. This scene has had a lasting impact on many viewers and is often remembered as one of the show's most romantic moments. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to Full House? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we dive deeper into the show, we'll uncover many funny, shocking, and sad facts that you might not know. So, keep watching this video to learn more about this iconic TV series.
I think I know. Those slumber parties, they're for mothers and daughters. The production of the 1987 TV series Full House took place in various locations, including the Warner Brothers Studio in Burbank, California, and exterior shots in San Francisco. The set design was meticulously crafted to create the warm and cozy atmosphere of the Tanner family home. The interior sets were built on stage 24 at Warner Brothers, where the crew could control lighting and sound. The show's main location, the Tanner family home, was a challenge to create due to the need to accommodate the large cast and the show's family-friendly vibe. The set included a living room, kitchen, hallway, staircase, and three bedrooms, each designed to reflect the personality of the character who occupied it. Exterior shots of the Tanner family home were filmed in San Francisco, specifically at 1709 Broderick Street. However, the interior of the house did not match the exterior, as the show's creators wanted a more spacious interior set. The production faced logistical challenges, such as coordinating the schedules of the large cast and managing the show's tight budget. Despite these challenges, the crew employed innovative techniques and technologies to enhance the production value. For instance, they used a technique called video assist, which allowed the director to review footage immediately after shooting, enabling them to make quick decisions and adjustments. The show's creators also used a multi-camera setup which involved using several cameras to film a scene simultaneously. This technique allowed for a more efficient filming process as it reduced the need for multiple takes and enabled the crew to capture different angles of a scene in one shot. Overall, the production of Full House required careful planning, coordination, and the use of innovative techniques to create a warm and inviting family sitcom that resonated with audiences for eight seasons. Full House is a classic sitcom that first aired in 1987 and can now be found in reruns on Nick at Night. I have fond memories of watching this show regularly as a child, including every Friday night on TGIF. The show has a great balance of comedy, drama, and even some musical aspects, such as Uncle Jesse's performances with the Rippers. I particularly enjoyed the episodes featuring the Beach Boys. The show centers around the Tanner family, consisting of Father Danny and his three daughters, with help from Uncle Jesse and best friend Joey. While the show may not always depict realistic parenting, the strong chemistry between the cast members makes it unique and endearing. Full House is a television classic that has stood the test of time. Although the humor and cuteness can sometimes come across as cheesy, it's important to remember that the show was intended to be that way as a family-oriented sitcom. The characters' personalities are well-defined, and the heartwarming endings, accompanied by uplifting music, teach valuable lessons. Some viewers may not have a positive opinion of the show, but Full House remains a beloved part of many people's childhoods. It's a program that should be taken for what it is a family sitcom designed to showcase a loving, non-traditional family who truly cares about one another. John Stamos, who plays Uncle Jesse, is a standout performer in the series. In summary, Full House is a classic sitcom with a strong cast, heartwarming lessons, and a unique charm that has made it a favorite among viewers for generations. It's Becky. What is it? Can I borrow five? The creation of the musical score and soundtrack for Full House was a collaborative effort between various composers and musicians. The show's music was composed by Bennett Salter, Jesse Frederick, and Bennett Salve. They aimed to create music that complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the series. The theme song, Everywhere You Look, was written by Frederick and Salve and performed by Jesse Frederick. The upbeat and catchy tune became instantly recognizable and helped establish the show's warm and family-friendly atmosphere. The background score, composed by Salter, was designed to enhance the emotional moments in each episode. The music subtly guided the audience's emotions, intensifying the impact of the storyline. Salter used a variety of instruments and styles to create a score that was both diverse and cohesive. The soundtrack also featured popular songs from the 1980s and 1990s, which were often used to punctuate key moments in the episodes. These songs were carefully selected to reflect the characters' emotions and advance the narrative. 
In creating the music for Full House, the composers and musicians sought to strike a balance between the show's lighthearted tone and its more serious moments. The result was a soundtrack that not only complemented the narrative, but also stood on its own as a memorable part of the series. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Three in a row, I kill myself. In the popular TV series Full House, most characters have their own distinct catchphrases. Jesse is his have mercy, often said with added sarcasm, and a huh. Joey's is cut it out, while DJ frequently says, oh, my lanta. Stephanie has several, including How Rude, Hot Dog, and Well Pin a Rose on Your Nose. Michelle's include You Got It, Dude, on Nuts, Oh, Police, You're in Big Trouble, Mr., and Duh. Kimmy's are Ola, Tanneritos, and Ola Mr. T, the character Michelle, played by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, was split between the two to allow for involvement in both comedic and serious moments. All of the Tanner kids attended Frazier Street Elementary School, providing a common setting for their family life and adventures. I think I'll name it Buttercup. <laughs> One of the most iconic scenes in Full House is the opening sequence where the Tanner family is introduced. The scene is set in their San Francisco home with a warm and cozy atmosphere created by the cinematography. The use of a wide angle lens makes the small house feel more spacious and inviting. The performances of the actors, especially Bob Saget as the father, Danny Tanner, are natural and endearing. The impact of this scene is significant as it sets the tone for the entire series and introduces the audience to the Tanner family, who they will grow to love over the next eight seasons. Another memorable scene is the Cut It Out episode, where Michelle, the youngest Tanner daughter, accidentally cuts her own hair. The scene is shot in a way that highlights Michelle's innocence and vulnerability with close-up shots of her facial expressions. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's performance in this scene is remarkable as they convey Michelle's emotions authentically. The direction and cinematography work together to create a sense of tension and urgency as the family tries to fix Michelle's hair before their guests arrive. The Danny's Very First Date episode also features an iconic scene where Danny goes on his first date after his wife's death. The scene takes place in a restaurant and the use of soft lighting and gentle background music creates a romantic atmosphere. Bob Saget's performance in this scene is noteworthy as he portrays Danny's nervousness and excitement convincingly. The impact of this scene is significant as it marks a turning point in Danny's character development and signifies his readiness to move on from his grief. The Just One of the Guys episode features an iconic scene where DJ, the eldest Tanner daughter, tries to fit in with her male friends by dressing and acting like one of the guys. The scene is shot in a way that emphasizes DJ's struggle to balance her femininity and desire to fit in. Candace Cameron Bure's performance in this scene is impressive, as she convincingly portrays DJ's confusion and frustration. The direction and cinematography work together to create a sense of tension and conflict as DJ tries to navigate the complexities of adolescence. Overall, the iconic scenes in Full House are characterized by their strong performances, direction, and cinematography. The impact of these scenes on the audience is significant as they resonate with viewers on an emotional level and contribute to the show's enduring popularity. Oh, I don't know. Everything was just changing so fast that I just I didn't know how to deal with it. In the popular 1987 TV series Full House, actors Candace Cameron and Scott Weinger attended prom together, both on screen and off. The first season's episode, The Return of Grandma, marked the only appearance of Joey's mother. Notably, John Stamos was the first to announce his departure from the show after the eighth season due to his disapproval of the planned move from ABC to the WB. Coincidentally, Candace Cameron also intended to leave after the eighth season to attend college, leading to the decision to end the series with its eighth season on ABC. Stage tonight, I did my stand-up and I was great! But I thought you quit! Well, I did, but... Full House, 1987 TV series, made a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences due to its relatable storyline about a widowed father raising his three daughters with the help of his best friend and brother-in-law. The show's warm humor and family-centered themes were comforting to viewers. Full House influenced pop culture in various ways. The series popularized the Tanner family in the San Francisco house where they lived 
becoming an iconic symbol of 80s television. The show also launched the careers of its young stars, including Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, who became household names. The series contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. For instance, it explored the challenges of single parenthood, step parenting, and blended families, which were relatable to many viewers. The show also tackled issues such as peer pressure, self-esteem, and sibling rivalry, promoting positive values and lessons for its audience. In summary, Full House left a lasting impact on popular culture and contributed to important social discussions. Its relatable characters and themes continue to resonate with audiences today. <laughs> there, now we won't be. In the casting process for Full House, Jeff Daniels was initially considered for the role of Joey Gladstone, but it ultimately went to Dave Coulier. Interestingly, Coulier had already been using his signature catchphrase cut, it, out, and accompanying gestures on his earlier Nickelodeon show, Out of Control. As for Scott Weinger, who played the role of DJ Tanner's boyfriend Steve, he is naturally left-handed but plays golf and swings a baseball bat right-handed. Despite being a lefty, he adapted to using his right hand for sports in the show. That's a good start. Now you put your hands on your hips. And you start your Full House, the 1987 TV series, received mixed reviews from critics, but was generally well-liked by audiences. The show's family-friendly approach and comedic elements were praised, while some critics criticized its sentimentality. Jeff Jarvis of People Magazine called it a likable, amiable, and sometimes funny show, and appreciated the chemistry between the actors. However, he also noted that the show was formulaic and lacked bite. Despite the mixed reviews, Full House was a hit with audiences and ran for eight seasons, becoming a cultural phenomenon. The show's popularity led to a spin-off series, Fuller House, which premiered in 2016. Full House received several award nominations, including three primetime Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lighting Direction for a Series and Outstanding Technical Direction Camera Video for a Series. The show also received a Young Artist Award nomination for Best New Television Comedy Series. The accolades received by Full House are significant as they highlight the show's impact and influence on television. The nominations for technical awards demonstrate the show's high production values while the Young Artist Award nomination underscores the show's appeal to younger audiences. Being nominated for and winning awards can have a significant impact on those involved in a film or TV series. It can boost the careers of actors, writers, and other professionals, as well as increase the show's visibility and popularity. Awards also serve as a form of recognition for the hard work and dedication that goes into creating a successful television series. There's a horse in my living room. There has to be a lie involved here somewhere. After starring in Full House, Bob Saget went on to play another father figure in How I Met Your Mother. In the first season of Full House, all the men are depicted as slobs who rely on their mothers to clean up after them. This contrasts with Danny Tanner's character, who is known for his cleanliness and orderliness even in his childhood flashbacks. Interestingly, Jesse's father, Nick Katsopoulos, never appears on screen with Jesse's grandfather, Iorgos Papouli Katsopoulos, before Papouli's death. In fact, Nick is never mentioned, even when his father passes away. These details add depth to the show's characters and their relationships, making Full House a compelling family drama. I think you're jealous. Me? Jealous? <laughs> but I am hungry. During the filming of Full House, the cast and crew faced many challenges and shared memorable experiences. One time, during a live audience taping, the Tanner family was having a picnic in the backyard. A real bee had made its way onto the set and landed on actor John Stamos' nose. Without missing a beat, Stamos remained still and in character until the bee flew away. Bob Saget, who played Danny Tanner, was known for his comedic skills off camera. He would often improvise lines and crack up the cast and crew. In one episode, Saget ad lived a joke about a magic comb that could make hair grow. The joke didn't make it into the final cut, but it became a legendary moment on set. The young cast members, Candace Cameron, Jody Sweeten, and Mary Kate, and Ashley Olsen, formed a close bond during filming. They would often play together between takes and even attended school on set. 
the Olson twins about their journey, was always present to ensure their well-being and to help them memorize their lines. The show's creator, Jeff Franklin, was heavily involved in the production and often included personal touches in the episodes. He even named the Tanner family dog after his own dog, Comet. Franklin also had a love for catchphrases and incorporated them into the show, such as how rude, and you got it, dude. Full House's iconic opening credit sequence, featuring the cast dancing to the theme song, was filmed during the first season. The cast wore their own clothes, and the sequence was shot in one take. The memorable dance moves were improvised on the spot, and the cast had a blast filming it. Despite the show's lighthearted tone, the cast and crew also experienced their fair share of emotional moments. When the series ended in 1995, the cast and crew were deeply saddened. At the final rap party, the cast shared heartfelt speeches and many tears were shed. These are just a few of the many behind the scenes anecdotes from the making of Full House. The cast and crew's camaraderie, creativity, and dedication to the show made it a beloved classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. Feel kind of comfortable. Like a big couch filled with money. <laughs> it's not the money. I mean, one Bob Saget, the actor known for playing the responsible father Danny Tanner on Full House, had a contrasting personality off camera. He was infamous for telling inappropriate jokes during rehearsals and tapings, much to the dismay of the children actress's parents and the show's producers. Jody Sweeten, who played the character Stephanie Tanner, had a beloved companion in the show, a teddy bear named Mr. Bear. Contrary to popular belief, Mr. Bear was not a prop. He was owned by Sweeten, and his real name was Humphrey Bearguard. Manufactured by the North American Bear Company, Mr. Bear even had a female counterpart, Lauren Bearcall. The only time a prop replica was used was in the episode Joey and Stacy. I know, yeah, Jesse, when the original Mr. Bear was damaged by Comet. In 2017, Sweeten auctioned the original Mr. Bear on eBay for 5,000. There is a deleted scene from the final episode, Michelle Rides Again, which features the entire family in the hospital's waiting room, anxious about Michelle's condition. After a discussion about coffee, the doctor informs Jesse, Joey, and Danny that Michelle is awake and ready to see them, leading to the original opening scene. This scene, if included, would make the episode the longest, running at 35 minutes, including the curtain call. Every other episode runs for 21 minutes without commercials. I'm willing to take that chance. <laughs> Let me put it another way. You're going to school. But I'm Full House, a 1987 TV series, holds a significant place in film history due to its popularization of the family-centered sitcom genre. Its warm and humorous portrayal of a widowed father and his three daughters, along with his best friends and their daughter, captured audiences' hearts for eight seasons. The show's impact on future filmmaking is evident in the numerous reboots and adaptations it has inspired. In 2016, Netflix released Fuller House, a sequel series that follows the continuing stories of the Tanner family. This revival demonstrates the lasting appeal and influence of the original series. Furthermore, Full House has inspired various other productions, such as the reality show Breaking Bobby Bones, where the host pays tribute to the show by recreating its iconic opening sequence. These subsequent works showcase the show's ability to resonate with new generations and continue to captivate audiences. In essence, Full House has left an indelible mark on the television landscape, shaping the way family-oriented content is produced and received. Its heartwarming stories and memorable characters have created a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. Thanks a lot. I don't know why I dumped all this on you. Like I... Jeff Franklin played a significant role in the creation of Full House, writing episodes until 1992. However, the three adult leads had issues with the high number of scenes given to the Olsen twins. It's also worth noting that although Pamela Tanner, played by Holly Robinson Pete, was mentioned frequently, she only appeared on screen in the season two episode Goodbye Mr. Bear. This shows that while the show featured a large cast, not all characters had equal screen time. I can't do it. Vicky, you need to be strong. No, I can't do it because I don't have luggage or a ticket. In the show Full House, which aired from 1987, the character Joey twice impersonated Marlon Brando's role as Vito Corleone from The Godfather. 
Interestingly, John Apria, who played Jesse's father, Nick Katsopoulos, had a role in The Godfather Part II as young Tessio. If you were to combine Full House and its sequel Fuller House into one series, Jodie Sweetin would be the only cast member to appear in every single episode. This highlights her long-standing contribution to the Full House franchise. The Olsen twin, Mary-Kate and Ashley, who shared the role of Michelle Tanner in Full House, appeared together on screen only four times during the show's run. This is perhaps due to the logistics of working with young twins, who often film scenes separately to accommodate child labor laws. Jesse Frederick, known for his work on various ABC TGIF shows, wrote the theme songs for Family Matters, Step by Step, Perfect Strangers, and Full House. In the final season of Full House, the opening credits changed to give Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen individual credit, with Ashley Olsen taking over the role of Michelle in the opening sequence. The eighth season featured numerous storylines for the main characters, including Kimmy, as the producers aimed to wrap up the series. The love story between Steve and DJ reached its conclusion in the spin-off series Fuller House, where they got married in a triple wedding with Stephanie and Kimmy. Order to treat your finger, I gotta know what color the pain is. What you have to do is close your eyes. If you have fond memories of the 1987 TV series Full House, we'd love to hear them. Share your stories and experiences related to this classic show that left a lasting impression on many. Tell us how Full House affected you personally or influenced your view of television. Let's engage in a lively discussion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. We're excited to learn about the impact Full House had on you and how it has stayed with you all these years. Your stories and insights are invaluable to us, so please take a moment to contribute. Help us create a rich tapestry of memories and perspectives on this beloved series. Because I have the sniffles. Good one. <laughs> oh, 